Hey everybody, it's Farmer Steve. We're doing a little video today uh, about CSA box. Um, last week we did we did a Mayo and we had some problems with the audio and it didn't work out. So we're gonna try and do it all, all at once. I got a few things here today. Last week's box had some unusual things in it. It had uh, the daikon radish. I'm gonna show you something here with that. It had the uh, fava beans. That's what they look like when we do them as microgreens. Um, that's a cool one because that one has uh, the, the nutrition, the nutritional value in those fava beans is really amazing. It's one of the few things that has uh, phosphorus, magnesium, iron. It has the uh, more than the, the daily allowance of folate. So if anybody's pregnant out there, and I know there's, a, there's one of our members, uh, that's a big deal. So um, we're gonna do a couple of, well, we're gonna actually do a few things. We're gonna do something with the radishes. We're gonna make a mayonnaise. We're gonna make a green goddess dressing. We're gonna do a little, little bit of a bake here. And so let's get started. I'll tell you what, what I'm gonna do, when, when we get the box, this is, the e this is something easy that you can do. When you get the box, uh, you're gonna have greens. I've already taken, these are beet greens. And you know this was in the box last week, so um, the easiest thing to do with them is, is go ahead and wash them. I've washed all this stuff ahead of time, so uh, try and get some of that stemmy part off there. I'm gonna set that aside. And this is, like I said in the, you know, in the, in the uh, blog post, this is an amaranth. It's, it's, it's like spinach, and it has the same nutritional properties. Uh, and beet, beet greens and uh, the chard, which is coming back. We're gonna have rainbow chard here shortly. Um, let's see, what else do we have? We had, I'm gonna do this. I'll put them in here. <clears throat> uh, this is our dinosaur kale. We talked about that last in the last video. Um, in this case, I just chop it. Uh, this is, I'm just gonna make this like you would spinach. Okay, but kind of in an interesting way. I've got uh, a pan in the oven and I had cooked uh, chicken thighs in it. They're all seasoned, they're all over. The, the, the thighs are out, so it's basically uh, grease, chicken grease, which is good. Uh, you don't have to do that. For my buddy Ed here, the, the, uh, the vegan, what we would do with that is just basically put some olive oil in there, you know, salt and pepper, and uh, and toss it in. I I like doing this. You can do it in a stock pan, but I like to just go ahead and throw it in there, and it's not going to be in there long. Stir it around because it's already seasoned, and I'm not the vegan that he is, so it doesn't bother me. And uh, we're gonna go from there, stir it up. Don't forget it, don't let me forget it while it's in here. So uh, we're gonna get that going. Now that's, that's good stuff. That'll, be, that'll make a nice side here later on. Uh, everybody, we got these daikon radishes. And um, there's a number of these. I wrote about it on a blog post last week. There's, there are fancier versions of this. It's a little, what a spiralizer. This one is, this one's okay. It's because it's cheap. Uh, I would like to get one that's a little fancier than this and I'll find us a better one. Uh, so typically what you, what you wanna do is just take it, if I can find the one that does the right uh, thing here. Wait a second, it was like this. <laughs> I had done this before. Is that the one? Let me get the big one. Uh, they have these that, I think that there is a, um, let me see if it's this one. There we go. They have one that you may be able to do this with a food processor. I haven't tried it yet, so I just wanted to try this out. And so what you do is you take that. Um, let's add some, some of our spring onion to it. Okay. Now what you can do, what you, you could use rice wine vinegar, you can use 
Uh, this is just regular uh, white wine vinegar. And you know the little top of the bottle trick. It doesn't take too much of this. Oop, my bad. And it needs a little bit of sugar. I just do, this is just winging it. Just totally winging it. A little bit of sugar. This is uh, glycine kind of sugar there that I use. Salt. And I'm actually gonna put uh, a little bit of red pepper flake. Let's see if I can stop from ruining it, messing it up. Kind of for color. And let me see here. I don't have any Asian chili powder or anything like that. I'm just gonna put regular chili powder in it. And that's pretty nice right there. So you can just mix it up, let it sit for a little while. And that is sort of a, let's just call it a sort of a, uh, kimchi, a little radish kimchi sort of thing. It's not really kimchi, but that's what we're going to call it. That's what we'll call it. It's a working name. Or maybe we call it a Korean slaw. How about <laughs> that? That's good stuff. Yeah. You can eat that. Yeah, I would. Okay, what I, what, I, what I want to do, and this is what we did last week, um, is we're going to make a little mayonnaise. And I got, uh, these are Dave's eggs. Dave Porkowski Famous. of uh, Changing Ways. Dean Neff taught me how to do this and we, we succeeded with it last week. Hopefully we'll succeed with it this week. We'll see. Um, you start with eggs. Now, traditionally, I think they only use egg yolk. I use the whole egg. It seems to work. It's, it, uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I didn't, it, 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 that's just the way that goes. They say it's got a little bit more moisture in it like that and, and that keeps it holding together. I never had one that broke on me um, because that will happen. So we're going to pulse this for about 15 seconds. So now we're going to add in uh, mustard. Mustard is emulsifier. Oh boy. Let me see here. Mustard, mustard is our emulsifier. Is animals for so is the egg. It's actually two teaspoons. I doubled this up. This is an easy one and most of the time because it's like one to one to one everything. It's it is like one egg, one tablespoon of of uh, this mustard. Uh, I'm gonna eyeball this since I only had half as much. I'm doubling everything up. Two eggs, uh, two tablespoons of mustard, and then we have white wine vinegar. I'll give the the ingredients list on this uh, at the bottom here. So we got that. We're going to blend that up a little bit. And the trick to this is I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to let, I'm going to, I'm going to, let's, let's blend this real quick. Just want to get that together a little bit. And then I'm going to take a chance because this takes eight ounces in the regular and we're doubling it up which means I'm gonna waste all of this if I mess this up I have ruined it all so uh, we got a little bit of salt in there too um, if you have a lemon you, you can add lemon to it now or freshen it up a little bit later so we should I oh here's what they say everybody says to use a very neutral uh, oil I don't know I'm making my own mayonnaise why do I want it to be like regular mayonnaise? I want my own mayonnaise. So I'm going to use some fancy oil. It's got, you know, it's got some good flavor to it. Extra virgin olive oil. That's just the way I like it. I want to, if I'm going to make something like this myself instead of store-bought, I, I want it to be different. So let's see how this goes. And you got to be slow. Oh, I did it again. Let's pray to God it worked out because that's all the olive oil I've got. Let me see. Oh my God, that is awesome. I can tell by looking at it. 
Um, okay, so what what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do two things with this. Your mayonnaise that you just made is gonna be the tastiest mayonnaise that you've ever had, most likely. Um, and the reason I wanted to show this, it's easy, and we're gonna use it for stuff that's coming in the box. We've got tomatoes coming. Now, can you imagine a BLT with your own mayonnaise on it? That's gonna be pretty daggone good. Let me see. Man, it almost looks like cake batter. That is perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do here is take half of this and I am going to, look at that, man. That is, that is some kind of good looking anyway. We're gonna taste it here in a second. So I'm gonna save the rest of this and what we're gonna do with it. That's really good. It's um strong olive oil taste. I like that. If you don't, I mean it's very natural taste. If you don't like it um, that strong, you can go with a more uh, neutral oil uh, there is one out that we don't, don't we don't have right now but is that avocado oil I bet you that would be really good it's more neutral I like this it's got olive oily flavor to it Wow it's really good stuff Dave's eggs uh, yeah we're gonna put that in the in the refrigerator here I'm going to make us a little green goddess dressing and I'm gonna use this it's it's really it's part mayonnaise the mayonnaise that we just made and it's part sour cream you can use uh, Greek yogurt too as well and it's 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 almost a one-to-one -one. I think it's a cup of, the, of your mayonnaise and about three-quarter cups of the other whether it's it's a sour cream or it's a Greek yogurt and if you want to go in that Greek direction and you happen to have some marjoram some mint you know something along those lines to add in it that that'll be nice but basically you in a green goddess you can use just about anything and we're gonna do that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say well you know what I got some onion and I believe the original uh, green goddess dressing was did have spring onion in it or chives at least so I'm just gonna put this green part in there because it's supposed to be green 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 Um, that's probably more than enough, but we're going to make sure it's green. It's green goddess. Uh, what else can we do? We can do, uh, you got your, your we're going to have these fava beans for a while. Let's make it a little nutty tasting while we're at it. And so, uh, you, you'll have these in bag and in, in the box. And this is, this is basically the way I harvest them and put them in the bags that you get in the box. So we're gonna do that. Um, let's see how that goes. What else can we do? Let's do just a tad, let's loosen it up just a little bit. And just a tad, I don't wanna to do too much to it. Um, we could put, you know, if you, if you just have regular old uh, this is sweeten it up. We'll put a little bit of basil in. If you have uh, herbs that are in in jars like this, that's fine. Dry herbs is fine. Uh, you know, just put something in there. Whatever smells good to you. A lot of times, what I do, if it's something unusual, I'm trying to put things together. I'll smell them together, literally. You know, like you know, the two of them together, and it looks a little strange, but 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 it actually works really well. I've seen chefs do that before. Ah, uh, let's see if I can get this thing on, all right? Ooh, that's pretty, pretty. I don't think it's going to be green enough, though. So let's find something. Let's put some more uh, fava beans in there. So maybe just keep working with it. It smells great, by the way. Yeah, I bet it does. I'm going to put some more onion in it. I want to get this right pretty quickly though because I don't want to keep um, processing this 
because the man the mayonnaise that's in there is already really really where I want it. So I, I want to get this done. I want to get it right. All right. Easy enough. Now what we're gonna do. do is put this together with some sour cream and let's see here I know I need about three quarters of a cup so eh. I am not not a baker I am an eyeballer always so we're gonna see how that goes if I could not get this on me which knowing me that's not easy I'm gonna put this mayonnaise and this sour cream together and I'm gonna fold it in. And we should. We should at that point have a pretty decent. I can tell right now we're gonna want to we're gonna want to add some salt. And, you know, just just the usual things. A lot of times you want a little heat in something like this, but I'm gonna leave it alone. Uh, a lot when you're using really fresh ingredients, a lot of times it's just better to you know, less is more kind of thing. But uh, salt, maybe some pepper. I'll see you here in a second. So I'm not gonna go crazy with it. I do feel like it's probably. Gonna that in and I don't have a bunch of garlic and we're gonna be growing garlic next year I believe I have some garlic powder somewhere but we would add that if you if you if you have it you can add that if you have garlic put garlic in it all right so I just spooned out some in here and uh, so that's a good little preparation. I, li I like to cut these, uh, <clears throat> I like to cut our carrots long ways like that. You get a little stem on it and, you know, as a dip, that's a, a kind of a green goddess dip. You can also use it in your, as a salad dressing, which is what it is. Um, you could make this, you could actually use those as a salad. And we're, we're gonna have those this week too, like we did last week, it's just bagged up uh, uh, fava beans as a salad and this would be pretty good with it um, eat those however you can I'm not gonna do it today but a soft a, a little wilt with that would be good too uh, and they're really good for you so hmm, actually that is, really, that is really good wow I haven't seen green goddess in decades used to be a big thing when I was a little kid green goddess dressings all right, so, hmm, man, that's good. So, don't mind me. I like the sun drop. I that's for granddaddy. Granddaddy introduced me to sun drop a long time ago. There, you have to be careful of this. All right. So there's just a little bit, little bake, a little roast of your uh, your dinosaur kale. Uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do chips one of these days. I've got a friend that makes them. I actually know somebody that makes them commercially, and they're really good. Some of these were uh, I can hear a little chippy. Just, we're just gonna soak some of that stuff up, and that's that's really all you have to do, and serve it just like spinach. Okay. I'm gonna eat that because a vegan friend can't eat that. But you can try this, and knowing you, you like hot stuff, you probably would like that. Grab a fork over there. Yeah, 
I know you like hot stuff, so I'm sure it's a little spicy. Mmm. That's some good stuff right there. Earthy, spicy. Let it sit for a little while in that, in that vinegar. Spice it up however you want to. This one could probably use a little more sugar. I don't like to put a lot of sugar in my food unless I have to. I could see where that would sweeten up a little bit. You could also put some um, sesame seed or maybe a tad little bit of sesame oil in it. I bet you, or toasted sesame oil, I bet you that'd be good. But um, it's a nice little side filler kind of thing. Those two things go together. That's some stuff that you can do with um, with ingredients from the box. Uh, we'll have a lot more coming. A lot, well, a lot of a lot of interesting things like like now we've made ourselves a mayo that we're going to put on our our uh, our BLT, and yeah. you can make other dressings with them. You can make a ranch dressing with that. That's really good, and it's similar. Ranch is is, is mayonnaise and sour cream with oh, and blue cheese. Uh, that's another one, it's, and that's that's a that's an easy one. If you had some blue cheese, put those two things together. But it's nice having your own mayonnaise. Um, don't forget Dave. Our eggs. We're going to be doing more egg stuff as we as we get down the road. Dave's got plenty of eggs, and he's got meat. He's got pork and chicken too, and we'll get into that later as well. Uh, thanks to Dean. Uh, Chef Dean Neff and for helping me figure out some things to do. I wish I knew what I were doing up here. Uh, he knows what he's doing. We don't. He, knows what, he knows what he's doing. One of these days he'll be doing this for us. Um, and I appreciate everybody. If you're seeing this and you're not a member, sign up. Um, I'll have information in, uh, underneath here and on our, our website at turnerfamilyfarmers.com. You call me, we'll get you signed up. Uh, it, every box is delivered and we try to stuff as much value into the box as we possibly can. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Hey, that's a wrap. <laughs>